Hey guys, it's Tori. Welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to sublimate a slate photo rock. It's so cool. I've made one before, but I had a friend reach out to me and ask if I would make them one. So that's what we're going to do today. The first thing we need to do is insert the shape that we're going to use as a template. And the slate's dimensions are 5 by 9 by 7.9 so let's go ahead and unlock this and add those dimensions 5.9 by 7.9 so the best advice that i can give you is start from this dimension this is the dimension of the slate go ahead and i print it to just like a black and white printer before i print it to the sublimation printer depending on the picture it determines what size it'll be and i know that doesn't make sense but I've done this before and it, the dimensions were one dimension. And then with this photo, I used the same dimensions and it was just way too big. So it's one of those weird things. There's no exact measurement that I can give you. It just depends. With that being said, go ahead and send this to the sublimation printer. I'm gonna hit make it and we need to mirror the image, continue, send to printer, and then I'm gonna change it here to the Epson ET 2720, which is my sublimation printer. We're gonna leave the bleed on and then turn on use system dialog, which I love to use because it just takes you directly to the printing preferences. So you hit print and then we're gonna change this as well to the Epson and then select preferences and you'll want the paper type to be the best quality. I'm using the premium presentation paper mat. In more options you want to make sure that your high speed in your mirror are not checked because we are mirroring it in Cricut Design Space. We don't need to mirror it here. Then advanced options and the color controls I'm using today are color mode Adobe RGB Gamma 2.2 and then you'll just kind of play around with this to find the color that's best for you guys. And this is what I'm using. Next, we'll hit OK and OK and then print. This is the slate, the photo slate that I'm going to use. And inside the box, it comes with the slate and then a stand. So the first thing you want to do is take it out of the package and we need to clean it. Okay, what we're gonna do is use rubbing alcohol and just clean it really thoroughly. And the reason you do that is because there are little, there's debris and stuff like that that you may not see, but once you sublimate it, it will pop up and you'll see it. Let's go ahead and clean this. And you can hear the printer just finished. And then you definitely wanna dry it. And if you don't have rubbing alcohol, you can use a lint roller, but I prefer rubbing alcohol. This is the image for the sublimation that we're going to put on here. And if you're new to sublimating, it will look kind of faded when it comes off and that's completely normal because once you sublimate it, the color pops out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of cut around here. And you can use your Cricut if you want to cut it. I am just going to do it by hand. And you'll want to try to not touch the picture just in case you have lotions or any kind of anything on your fingers. You don't want to get a print. Just be careful. Obviously, I'm, I have to touch it. Next, we will place it upside down. And I just want to make sure really quick that this gets on there as well. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it right here. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it this way. And I wanna double check and make sure that the name makes it there. Okay, and then I also wanna make sure that the head is gonna be close. Let's get it down this way. And we're gonna go ahead and use heat resistant tape. So I'm just going to quickly tape it so it doesn't move. And okay. when you tape it, 
you want to use heat resistant tape and you also want to pull it tightly so it is pressed firmly against the slate making sure to pull it tightly i'm going to do the bottom as well and then we want to do the sides and you want it to go over the slate because there is like the white sides you want to make sure that you get everything has color so you don't have like you don't see white slate then i am going to also do it the long way because the more that it is pressed firmly against the slate the nicer it is going to look kind of reinforcing it i'm going to use my htv Ront auto press and i'm going to do the temperature at 360 and we'll need to do it for 480 to 600 seconds so i'm going to do the 600 seconds you can see like the little gap that area is not firmly pressed down and that is why I go all the way around and tape it. This looks great. The HTV Ront I put at 199 seconds. So we're gonna have to do that three times and the temperature is 360. Let's do it this way. And we're going to place this right over it because you want to definitely have Teflon or parchment paper underneath to protect the mat and then also to protect the metal part. Okay, so you guys ready? We're going to go ahead, place it in, and we're going to do this three times. This is our third time, and then we're done. And you definitely want to use heat-resistant gloves because it's going to be so hot. Okay, so it's done, and let me put my gloves on because it's super hot. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and we'll turn this off and then it's so hot so we're just gonna let it sit for I don't know a few minutes and then we'll go ahead and take it off okay let's take it off Ooh, that is nice so cool it's so hot isn't that awesome so it's still hot so let's let it cool so leave a comment below let me know what you guys think of this project and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye